Hello and welcome everyone. Today we will be talking about using your mobile phones in the event of a thunderstorm because we are all so addicted to our phones nowadays that it would be hard to avoid in case of any extreme climatic event. But we need to understand the risk it entails before risking our own well-being as well as others around it. But before we continue further, please like and subscribe to our channel so that you can stay updated with our latest content. Now we we are all aware of the risk of lightning strikes during thunderstorms, but sometimes these risks are misunderstood. While it is sensible to avoid using a fixed line phone during a thunderstorm, the same precaution does not apply to mobile phones or fiber optic cable. While many NBN connections are fiber optic, you should check with your service provider to confirm. Mobile phones are low power devices and do not have any characteristics which would make them attractive to lightning strikes. Although some people speculate mobile phones pose a risk when used outdoors because lightning is attracted to metal, the amount of metal contained in a mobile phone is not enough to increase your risk of being struck by lightning. According to safety experts, somebody who is outside increases their risk of being struck if they are on a high ground, in an open space, near water, or near large metallic structures or trees. These factors are more important to safety in an electrical storm than the use of a mobile mobile phone. Advice provided to the ABC, Grant Kirkby, an Australian specialist on lightning mitigation risk is that staying indoors during a storm is the best way to protect yourself from a lightning strike. And if you are outside, try to move away from the areas of high exposure, such as under a tree. At the first signs of visual lightning or audible thunder, you really need to get yourself and your kids indoors. The last place you want to stand is under a tree. Lightning wants to get to the ground. and a tree can often be the quickest way for it to get there. If you are standing near it, the electricity will get you too. Following worldwide media interest in 2006, the US National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration issued a statement saying lightning is not attracted to people carrying mobile phones, cell phones, small metal items, jewelry do not attract lightning. Nothing attracts lightning. Lightning tends to strike taller objects. It is also observed that people are struck because they are in the wrong place at the wrong time. The wrong place is anywhere outside. The wrong time is any time a thunderstorm is nearby. The concern that mobile phones attract lightning was first raised a number of years ago in an internet hoax and is now recognized in urban myth. The medical profession is well aware of the misinformation on this topic as pointed out by Dr. Mary Ann Cooper. She's an associate professor at the Departments of Emergency Medicine and Bioengineering at the University of Illinois in Chicago. In her paper on lightning, lightning injury effect, she quotes, the medical literature and medical practices are resplendent with examples of lightning myth that grow out of misread, misquoted or misrepresented information and that then continue to be propagated without further investigation. The types of injury observed are also well known and Dr. Cooper also points out that no lightning danger is inherent to cellular phones. Although many reports of lightning injuries involve people who are using cell phones, these these reports represent the ubiquity of cell phone usage and of their users' absent attentions to weather conditions and have nothing to do with the phones themselves. Dr. Cooper also clarifies that electrical lighting damage only occurs with the use of landline phones and not mobile phones. The myth that mobiles pose a lightning risk was perpetuated by a claim that the Australian Lightning Protection Standard recommended mobile phones should not be used during storms when a 2006 report in the the British Medical Journal incorrectly claimed the standard advises people not to use mobile phones during storms. However, the standard did not make any such recommendation. In fact, the standard advises people using mobile phones instead of conventional copper wire telephones during storms because conventional phones pose a well-documented risk. The very real risk is people may not have their mobile phones with them. In order to call emergency service, if someone is struck by lightning. The myth surrounding mobiles and lightning is just one example of myths around mobile phone safety that have since been debunked. But if you know any other theories that are yet to be debunked or had proven false, then don't hesitate to mention in the comments. See you till next time.